The current market trend is for businesses and our competitors to claim carbon neutrality by simply buying carbon credits. We absolutely refuse to do this. And the reason why we refuse to do that is those credits are increasingly coming from credits generated by planting monoculture exotic forests on land that these days is productive land. It's a land that can be used for planting food and land that has been supporting local communities. So what we're doing is we actually believe that we need to be carbon neutral ultimately on our own farms. So dairy farming done properly is part of the solution. My name is Prem Man. I'm one of the founders and the executive chairman of Southern Pastures. I'm Daniel and this is Laura and we're farming on a Southern Pastures farm, Miri Miri Farm. And we meet 450 Jersey cows and we're just outside of Taper. I love being outside and just being with the cows and being in the environment and just being in nature, just, yeah. So cows should be outside 365 days a year, eating just what they should be eating, which is grass. Grass is huge in how we farm. Um, we have to manage it for the whole season. Definitely in how we look at we want to farm and seeing a little grass, it, you know, state of New Zealand products. We want to look after the land as well as the cows and then again look after the people and it all becomes a, a business then. Everyone works together and we go in the right direction rather than just taking every last dollar out the land, out the cows, out the people and then it's, that's not the, the way to farm and it's looking what can we leave for our children so better land, better cows and better people. Kia ora, my name's Mark Bridges, I'm the General Manager of Farming at Southern Pastures. We've focused on building soils. Building soil takes time, it's, uh, you've got to be patient and so for us it's about planting species that are deeper rooting and thereby building more sustainable soils for the, for the future. So soil has the ability to sequester up to two times the amount of carbon that exists in the air and plants combined. We can't deal with climate change unless we improve soil health. We, without soil we would not be here. We've also introduced dung beetles into our properties. Uh, the dung beetles work alongside the, the earthworms, which we've also pre-populated the, the properties with. And they uh, combine to break down the dung from our cows and incorporate that at depth into our soils, uh, and thereby building more sustainable soils for the, for the future. So they drag the dung down underground up to 1.2 metres. So that's a way of actually giving dragging carbon deep into the soil. So it means your nitrous oxide disappears, your methane emissions from the ground level disappears, and it helps clean the waterways. So dung beetles are absolutely wonderful creatures. So we see our role as dairy farmers to improve soil health, to sequester carbon, to have healthy soil that will grow healthy pastures, that will feed healthy animals, that will then allow us to produce healthy products for humans, while at the same time trying to heal the planet. Yeah, a key thing at Southern Pastures is that the milk from these farms is separated, picked up separately, uh, and remains segregated right throughout the, the processing process, all the way through to the production of our butter and other products. Because of its grass-fed content, it is very, very yellow. Um, you can see that it is different. Um, it is very soft. You can spread it generally straight out of the fridge. Um, and it tastes really amazing. So it is very, very high in omega-3. It's got more omega-3 than farmed fish. It's very low in omega-6. So it's got the right balance. Um, and it's also very high in all the other uh, nutritional benefits you'd expect, like CLAs. So it's, it's almost a health product. So this is the butter that our grandparents would have eaten you know, before GMO and palm feed and tallow and other types of artificial feed were given to, uh, to animals. So it, it's as close to nature as it can be. When we created Southern Pastures, 
a mantra from inception was to deliver values for money. We looked around for certifications that existed in the market and we found that there were many certifications in the market, but they generally only cater for one attribute at a time. We found there were none that could meet all our needs. So we came back and decided to create our own certification to give consumers the trust that the product they buy has been made with the right care for the animals, the animals have been given the right feed, and the people have been treated well, that the environment has been treated well, and the climate change mitigation measures have been taken, and it's, it is independently audited and certified every step of the way. We took um, our butter into the US with that certification, um, and now our butter is the only New Zealand butter that's available for sale throughout the US. Somebody eating our butter anywhere in the world absolutely knows that that has come all the way back to our farms and, and we know exactly what's gone into that feed. We hope that others will farm in the same way that we are, so that we're improving the world together. We hope to be dairy farmers well into the future, and producing nutritious food for future generations, but doing it in a sustainable way. We want to set an example for our children where we, what we got on our morals and what we should be, and we want to show that we're looking after the land and building for the future, not just for, for the now, right, basically. What more would a parent want than to know that the career that they've chosen and what they're working towards is creating a better environment for your children and the world that they grow up in? We have this passion of wanting to leave behind a better world. We're all in this together, together as a human race. We want to do the right thing. Why are you so determined to get there? Why is it so important to you? Because we want to change the world.